Okay, so um, we are here with um, Amina Anum, and um, she is an American, a citizen of America, and um, she's currently in Ghana, and I'm going to have an interesting conversation with her. She's going to tell me what she's doing right here in Ghana. When is she leaving Ghana? And um, I don't know whether uh, her expectation in Ghana has been met. So, Amina, hi. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Okay, so Amina, um, are you an American or a half caste? <laughs> <laughs> um, yes, I'm an American, but I do have African blood. So, how do you know? Um, I did a DNA test and I found out I have Nigerian, Sierra Leone, Kenyan, and most of the West Africa, Congo, too. <laughs> I'm confused. Yeah. In America, you did a DNA. Yes. You wanted to know where you belong. Yes. Or where you are coming from. Yes. And then the results proved that you have a Nigerian blood, mm -hmm. uh, Kenya, Kenya. Mm -hmm. Sierra Leone. Mm -hmm. And then? And really, it did say all of West Africa. Okay. But those of Nigeria and Sierra Leone are the strongest. So you are an African? Yes, I'm an African. <laughs> That's why I don't like people calling me white woman, because I'm not a white woman. <laughs> <laughs> so ever since you came out, I, I don't know whether people keep calling you white. And you know, we, we normally say obroni. Mm, and and Ga, they say blofonyo. Yes, blofonyo. <laughs> <laughs> and you don't like that? No, I don't. Why? Well, for several reasons. I'm not white, so I'm the same color, maybe a little lighter than you. Yeah. Yes, and then I don't think like white people. I know how they think, but I don't think like white people. Really? Tell me, how do they think? Just tell me. Oh, you really want me to tell you? Yeah, <laughs> I, I want to know. In a nutshell, I see the white people. They're evil. Not all white people, but in general. Most of them. Yes. Why? Because of how they treat us as black people or Africans. In America. Yes, and all over the world. Racism. Yes. White supremacy. Uh, are you serious about what you tell me? I'm very serious. How long have you lived in? Oh, you were born in America. Yes. By black parents. Yes, black parents. And... I don't know, what kind of, uh, you suffered some racism there? Um, yes, not as much as my parents have, because in their generation, when they were growing up, it was, racism was very outward. But then when I was born, they tried to kind of hide it. So, but I have had experience, people have called me derogatory names, racist names. You felt hurt. Were you hurt? Yes, I was hurt. Of course I was hurt. I'm a nice person. <laughs> Very but nice. you, you had um, white friends as well. Yes, growing up I did have white friends. But at a point you need to you, you, you had to let all of them go. Was it the situation? Um well I I didn't just say I can't be your friend. I just we just separated because as my mind grew, then I knew where I need to be and who I needed to be around. And that's my own people. Even though I don't I do, I do communicate with white people, but I keep a certain distance. Because for me, I don't trust them. Why? I don't know. Uh, have you had any experience with white people? Because you've mentioned um, the, 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 the kind of racism, the way they treat black people. And do you have any other thing you say about, you, you want to talk about them? Um, there's, a, there's a whole lot to talk about them. We would have to be here all week to discuss it. <laughs> But yes, it's, it's, it's really it's in, in the United States, but also around the world. But I'm just going to speak about the United States because that's where I'm from. Okay. The United States, we are treated, as black people, we're treated very bad. But you are a citizen of the country. Yes, I'm a citizen. So citizen. why that discrimination? Because it's always been that way. Because of slavery. Okay. Yes, it's always been that way. Slavery was over uh, 400 years ago. And we still are treated in that way. Even in the U.S. Constitution, it still says that black people are only three-fifths of a human being. Really? Mm -hmm. They have not changed it. They amended so many other things in the Constitution except for that. But um, um, we had a black president of the um, United States, uh, Barack Obama. I don't know what he did about all the things that you're talking about. Nothing. Oh, Barack Obama was a black man. Yes. He did nothing. 
No. He was, a, he was a black man, but he was the president of the United States system. So he has to follow what the system... He's, he may be the president, but he's not in charge. Really? Yes, the president is, is not in is charge. Is that a situation whenever you have white presidents? Yes, oh. it's the same thing. So you are the president, but uh, people make decisions for you. The president can make decisions. However, there are people around to make sure you make the decisions that are to the benefit of keeping the agenda of white supremacy. So can you tell me one good thing that um, when Barack Obama was elected as a president, he did for black people in America? Can you tell me one thing? He was a good example as a black man, as a black father, and a black husband. That's all? Mm -hmm. You voted for Barack Obama? I did, twice. <laughs> Yes. Have you regretted voted for him? No, because, like I said, I learned something from him. He was a very good example as a black man, a black father, a black husband. And that was good. Okay. Um, how long have you been in Ghana here? I've been here for a year now. I a came, year. Yeah, last year, August 3rd. I August stepped 3rd. back in Ghana. So just a year. Just one year. And um, you are still here? Yes, I'm Or you, you, you went back again? You came and you went back again? No, no, no. I've been here for the whole year. I haven't gone back yet. Okay. So is, was that your first time of visiting Ghana? No. I visited last year in March. Between March and April, I stayed three weeks here. Okay. You, I don't know why you chose this destination. Uh, who, what did you see? What did you decide? I don't know what came in mind. Why you decided to visit Ghana? Well, I met a lot of online friends. Who are Ghanaians? Who are Ghanaians, but also Americans that have been to Ghana. I've already knew in my mind that I was coming to Africa, period. I just didn't know where I was going in Africa. Mm -hmm. So then meeting all of these people, I know, okay, this is where I'm going to visit. This is the first place, Ghana. So, yeah, that's where I came. So was Ghana a transit point? You wanted to try some other African countries. So from Ghana, maybe I need to move to another place and check. Was Ghana a transit point? Uh, when I came to visit, no, I just came here. This would be my first. I would go back home and then decide where, where? else I want to go. Yeah. So when you came, I don't know what actually um, triggered you. Charlie, let me come to Ghana and stay. Oh, what was I, the magic? Really? Okay, to be honest, <laughs> as soon as I stepped off the plane, I knew I was home. This is home. Wow. The energy is like, this is your home. Soon as... You came out from the uh, plane. What, 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 what airline? I flew, what was it? The first time I flew, I flew in from Togo because I had to take several flights. Okay. I don't remember what the airline, but the original airline was um, United. But um, why didn't you, so Togo, I, why, Togo should be your first destination, but you decided to come to Ghana. You said you felt what? I felt like this is home. Why? What was going on? Nothing. It was just the energy of it, and I knew I was home. This is home. Compare our, uh, our airports to that of America. Oh. Well, <laughs> <laughs> where, where you moved by, uh, I don't know. I don't know. I, I just want to understand why you felt that kind of energy that this is where I belong. I just did. I'm very connected to my ancestors. And so I just feel like, they were saying, this is where you belong. This is where you want. You need to come. This is home. Your ancestors spoke to you. Yes. Well, I felt the energy. I didn't hear any voices. <laughs> <laughs> I felt the energy of my ancestors saying that this is home. So, um, three weeks in Ghana. Mm -hmm. What did you enjoy in Ghana then? I enjoyed a lot. I enjoyed the people. I enjoy the places that I visited. Okay, so tell me some of the places that you visited. Um, I've most, most of the time I stayed here in Accra. Okay. And then I took a trip to Tamale. And Tamale. I stayed there for four days. Okay, you visited any of the tourist sites there? Oh, yes. I went all the way. I went to the... Mole. Uh, yes. You did Mole National Oh, Pass. yes. You saw the elephants? Oh, yes. I took pictures and video. <laughs> oh, of course. And um, you visited... Larabangja Mocks, where you... Yes, I did that too. Okay. So you know where I went. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I also went and touched the crocodile. Okay, Paga Crocodile Pond. Yes. Okay. Mm. So you came back to Accra. Yes. And why... You, you came back in August. Yes, I did. So why... I don't know why you came back to... Because my husband is here. <laughs> okay. 
I, I don't get you. <laughs> you know, you yeah. came with your husband the first time you went? No. Okay. I, I wasn't married when I first came. Okay. When I came, I met my husband here. Where? On the beach. You were having fun? Yes, I was just there. Actually, it was all by myself. I came to Ghana alone. Okay. Yes. So I was there enjoying the beach because I love the beach. Okay. Yes. And then I saw him ride up on his horse. But the, and I did go to the beach quite often okay. when I was here. I never said anything to him. He and did ask me if I want to ride, and I told him no. Okay. So when he first uh, saw you, he asked you if you want to ride, mm -hmm. and you said no. Mm -hmm. Why? I've already ridden. <laughs> I rode someone <laughs> else's horse. <laughs> oh, okay. Yes, yes. Okay, so the first time you rejected his offer. Yes, he just wanted to, me to ride the horse, and I just said no. Okay, and then the second time. He didn't ask me anymore. It's just any time he passed by, he would just wave. Mm -hmm. And I just sat there. Mm -hmm. And then? And then, like, let's see, it was a few days before I was leaving. Okay. I went to the river... Peshi, okay. And I gave an offering there. And then you I dropped some money. Yes, I dropped some money. I said where the, the river is. Yes. Peshi River. Peshi, yes. You dropped some money. Mm -hmm. Why? I wanted to give pay homage to her. And then I also wanted to ask her to assist me with some things in my life. So that's what I did. And then after that I went to the ocean and gave offering to Yemoya. And I asked her to guide me. So as soon as I sat in my seat, he rode on his horse again, and it was like an energy or a force lift me and push me to go talk to him. What, what, I don't know, when you got, I don't know what you told him. <laughs> oh, I told him what I thought, because what I was thinking I was just tell him everything you were thinking every time you saw him. And what were you thinking any time you saw him? He looked like a warrior king to me. A warrior king? Yes, a warrior So you king. told him? Yes, I told him that. What was his reaction? He smiled and said, oh, okay. And that's all? Oh, no, that's not all. I mean, then he, I, actually, that's all I was going to do. I just wanted to tell him what I thought when I met him and said I thought he was a nice guy and it was nice to meet him. And as I was going to turn to go sit, he continued to speak with me. Okay. And then we exchanged numbers. You told him you are going back to the States. Mm -hmm. What was his reaction? He didn't have a reaction. And he said goodbye to you? Uh, no, he knew I was coming back to the beach before. <laughs> <laughs> he so he brought you to the beach? No, I came on my own. Okay. Mm -hmm. So he gave you another opportunity to ride the horse again? Yes, he did ask me. When I walked up to him to speak with him, he put his hand out and he asked me again, do you want to ride? And I said, oh, no, no, no. I just want to tell you something. And that's when I told him all that I told him. And um, you left? I sat at the beach for a while. And then so when I left, then I shook his hand. And then that's when we exchanged numbers. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then you started talking. Yeah, the first, the first conversation was via text. Okay. And then the next day I came to the beach and I came early before he started to work. Mm -hmm. And from there, then we just had a long conversation for several hours. Long one. Hearts yes. to hearts. Yes, heart to heart. <laughs> <laughs> so you left or you yes. left and came back again? Yes, a couple of days. Yes. So it was that next day and then the next day. And then that Saturday, because I was leaving on that Sunday, I didn't think I was coming because I had to go meet with a friend before I left. Okay. And I decided, oh, let me go surprise him and show up at the beach. So that's what I did. And then that was the last day we were able to communicate face to face before I left to go home. Okay. Then you bought a plane from uh, Kutuka International Airport back to uh, U.S. Yes. So you decided to come back again. Were you talking? Oh, yes, the whole time, every day, long hours, yes. Okay, so you decided to come back and marry him? For I both did. of you to get married? Yes. Okay, so you are now married? Yes, we are. When are you going back to the U.S.? To visit. You, you, you are a citizen of the United States of America? Yes, I am. When are you going back home? You mean to visit? No. No. When are you going back home? I'm not going home. This Why? is home. 
I told you. This you are, is home. You are a citizen of United States of America. Yes. When are you going back home? I'm not going back home. Why are you not going back because home? Because I don't want to go back home. Why? I've already said in my mind, before I even came to Ghana, that I was leaving the United States. Uh -huh. I was looking at Belize, the U.S. Virgin Islands, Puerto Rico, even though it's a commonwealth of the United States. They uh -huh. still have sort of their own governmental system. Okay. Yes. So when I came to Ghana, I said, this is where I'm going. I'm not going there. I'm going here. So, yes, I'm not going back home because of how it is, my experience there in the United States as a black woman. So if you should go back to the United States of America, it's just for a visit. Just for a visit. You are not going back. No. You see that young man here? Yes. He wish he's in the U.S. All Ghanaians wish they were in the U.S. All Ghanaians. <laughs> I don't know if that's a fallacy. <laughs> <laughs> it's a fallacy. Yeah, all Ghanaians. All Ghanaians that I have met yeah. want to go to the U.S. I've even had Ghanaians to say, please take me with you. I can't take you with me to the U.S. Maybe in your bag, in your luggage. Right. I'm like, how am I supposed to do that? No, 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 no. And I try to warn them, you don't want to go. Why? Because this gentleman yes, here. Yes, I know. If, if <laughs> I don't know. So why I I don't I don't know. All Ghanaians want to go. Yes. What is there? Is it a good place for someone to find greener pastures there? Okay, the grass is never greener on the other side. That's what I want to tell you. <laughs> the grass is maybe the grass may be green, but it's a different kind of grass. Okay. So. There are some good things and some really bad things. The really bad things is what I decide, why I decide I don't want to go back and why I try to educate other people that want to go. So, <clears throat> do you want to know the bad things? Yes, we oh. want to know. This, well, let's say he, he is a black man. He's a Ghanaian. Oh, he wants black to go. man. Yes, he wants to go there. Oh. What is your advice? Or My advice. Would you tell him not to go? No, I'm not going to tell him not to go because that's his life. He has to know what he wants to do. He has to have his own per, uh, personal experiences. I can't tell anyone what to do or not to do. I can just educate you of what I know and to help you to understand what you're getting into when you go. So what I would say to him is be very, very careful. Why? Because he's a black man. I don't know if you all look at, watch news from the U.S., sure. but many black men have been killed by the hands of police and regular citizens, and they're unarmed. But Amina, you, you can attest to the fact that we have friends, we have family members who has been to the United States. They mm -hmm. come back with um, flashy cars. Oh. They come, they build their houses. They have enough money. We call them the boga and all those. So I, because the U.S. dollar to Guardian CD, you like, you're a rich person, so I can understand that. You think a Ghanaian can be here in Ghana and go into some kind of business and make money more than someone in the U.S.? Is that what you think? Mm, no, but it depends on the person. Okay. Yes, because really the system for black people is very difficult okay we have to work 10 times harder to get what we have or what we want in in u.s in the u.s so being in the u.s it's 10 times harder for a black person to achieve and succeed I mean, so that's why you see black people that are successful but it's very difficult it's a long hard road and it's always it always has been that way but for a white person, even a Chinese person can come in the country and it'll be very easy for them. Okay. So, yeah. So, currently, what, what, what are you doing here? Like, um, I don't know what you are into. What, what do you do in Ghana here? Well, right now I'm in media school. Okay. Yes, and I'm learning all the things, TV presenting and all of that stuff. Um, yeah, that's what I'm doing. I, I originally came here. My plan was I'm a massage therapist by trade. Okay. Yes, I've been a massage therapist for the past. Well, I haven't been working for the past one year. So 11 years I've been a massage therapist. Oh, okay. Yes, I'm, I'm licensed and certified in the U.S. as a massage therapist. So that's what I wanted to come here to do, open a massage spa and 
Yeah, that's a little difficult. So, <laughs> <laughs> but not just that. I uh, photography and videography piqued my interest, so then I started moving in that direction, and then okay. that's why I went to media school so I can learn. Okay, so apart from that, um, is there any other things that you do? I help my husband with his business and the, and the horses and all the animals here on our farm. But but you you horses. Oh yes, we have horses. And. Horses, how much are you going to make from horses? Um, you can, it depends. So if you work the beach, you don't make as much money as if you work an event. You get paid okay. more. Or we rent our horses out. So whenever there's a Muslim program, we rent our horses out. And that would be, the day rate would be like 500 CDs per day per horse. Okay. Yes. So how many horses do you have? We have one, two, three, four, six horses. Okay, so if there is an event and um, you want to rent all your horses out, then five, six is 30 means you're making 3,000. Yes. So okay. You're pretty good money. Wow. Mm -hmm. And if it has to be at the beach, how much do you make um, in a day? Um, in a day, it depends because sometimes there are not many people on the beach or like Labadi Beach has too many horses. They have like 34 horses on that beach. Wow. Yes, yeah, so my husband, our horses work both La Boma Beach and La Body Beach. So we usually have two horses. So we make a little more money on La Boma than we do La Body most days. Yes, yeah, so I mean, again, it just depends on the day. And sometimes we can make maybe two, three, four, five hundred CDs per day per beach. Okay. Yes. Wow. Huh. I mean, uh, I'm so excited. <laughs> and um, I've seen your love for animals, especially. Yes, I do. Uh, I don't know. Where is that coming from? I don't Has know. it been with you since you were born? I guess, well, I guess you can say that. My love for animals and my love for children. Yes. Those are the two things I love the most. Besides my husband. I loved him very much. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, I don't know. Have you tried any of our foods? Oh, yes, I have. Yes. <laughs> Which one? I've tried Banku. Banku. You, you enjoy Banku? Banku with what? I've tried Fufu. I've tried Banku. Yeah. Is it with pepper or the okra? Pepper. No, I haven't try, tried with the okra. It's pepper or with the fish. Yes. And then Kinky. Kinky? Yes, I think I've tried. Kinky. Komi. No, mm -hmm. Yes, I've komi. tried that. Mm -hmm. And, and fufu. then Fufu. You've tried Fufu. Yes. Which of them can we say is the best you, you, you enjoy eating? Do you want me to be honest? <laughs> yes, I want you to be honest. I don't like it very much. Okay. Mm, yeah, I don't like it very much. I try to. My husband says, you have to learn because he likes to eat with me. Okay. So I force myself to eat it <laughs> because he <laughs> likes to eat it with me. Okay. I mean, it's not so bad. It's not so bad. I would say banku. Banku. Yes. Banku and fried fish. Yes, and fried or fish. Or tilapia. Yes. Have you tried tilapia? Oh, yes. We have that in the States. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Maybe one day I have to pick you and then we go for um, banku with catfish. Okay. Have you tried catfish before? Yes, I have. I've tried all, a lot of types of fish. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Um, so currently, mm -hmm. are you going to denounce your citizenship with the U.S.? No, I'm smart. I have to keep my citizenship this way. I can play both sides. See, as a U.S. citizen, I have all of my You have privileges. a lot of privileges. Yeah, yeah. Yes, I have all of my privileges. So if I want to do business in the States and still be here, I can bring my U.S. dollars to Ghana. Yeah. And you want to be a citizen of Ghana? I do, eventually. I want to be a citizen of several different African countries. <laughs> and Ghana is one of them. Ghana is one of them. I'm sure definitely you, you, you'll be traveling to Nigeria. Oh, yes. I'm just waiting for the right moment to do that. Um, I don't know whether your husband also has plans that you need to leave. Both of you need to stay in the U.S. Do you have any plans like that? To stay in the U.S.? Yeah. No, I've, I've made it very clear to him. We will visit, but we will not stay. That's what I do. And he understands that. But that's all he wants to do. He doesn't want to stay. He just He wants to step foot on U.S. soil. And not just for that, but he wants to meet my family because he hasn't met my family in person yet. Okay. Yes. 
So that's what he wants. That's, that's his big dream, to meet my family and step foot on U.S. But soil. you have met his family. Oh, yes. And how are they treating you? Oh, they love me. And I can see you are very popular in this community. Yes, I am. <laughs> what, makes, what makes you that popular? Because I'm an American. <laughs> that makes me popular by itself. But not just that. I'm a very good person. I'm very kind. I'm a very sweet person. Yes. So everybody likes because me. I, 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 on, on our way here, I saw you waving at people. And yeah. it's like they know you around. Oh, yes. I even go to the roadside to get things to eat. And they know me. They say, hey, we've missed you. Where have you been? <laughs> I've been eating at home. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, can you prepare any of our local uh, foods we have here? I'm still learning. I do know how to make mashed kenke because my husband taught me how to do that. So, you know how to yeah. mash kenke? Yes. Uh, here we call it ice kenke. Ice kenke, okay. <laughs> yes, uh, and then I know how to do the red sauce and the rice and okay. jollof rice. Okay. I'm still learning, just like I'm still learning the language. Okay. So, yes. So, which of the languages are you learning now? Well, I'm primarily learning Ga. Why Ga? Because that's my husband's language. That's his first language. Because he also does speak tree. Okay. Yes, he speaks a lot of different languages. It seems you love your husband. I love him very much. I really do. Oh, see, now you have me missing him. I can't wait till he comes home. <laughs> I miss him so much. I love my husband. I do. <laughs> I mean, uh, can we end this interview? Uh, yes, it's up to you. But, um, I, okay, so um, I, I realize you have dogs here. Have dogs. You have goats, goats around, cats. cats ducks. Ducks, yeah. Chickens, uh, horses, dogs. We have plenty of dogs. Okay. Yes. And you, uh, you, I can see, I don't know what role do you play. So uh, a typical morning when you wake up, what do you do? As soon as I get up, I go straight for the bird pen. Okay. And I clean out the bird pen. You do that? Yes, I do. Of course. Why not? Okay. Yes. So I clean the bird pen, I feed them, I give them water, and then I put water in their, clean water in their pool. Yes, they know when I'm going to feed them. They start scratching at the gate. And then I'll come over and I'll clean up here this space where these two goats are tied. Okay. Mm -hmm. And then if my husband needs help with the horses, I know how to brush and, and how to groom the horses. And You help him? Oh, yes, of course. Wow. Uh, this wife material. <laughs> uh, 100 yards. <laughs> wow. Wow. Uh, I mean, I'm surprised. Seriously. Yes, there's so much more to me than meets the eye. Um, um, my producer is asking me to ask you, um, you have the name Amina. Yes. Are you a Muslim? No, I'm not. So you adopted that name? My mother gave me that name at birth. Wow. Mm. Why? She had a friend in junior high and her name was Amina. She was an Arabic girl. Okay. Yes. My mother always loved that name. So she knew that when she had a daughter, she was going to name her Amina. And that's me. Okay, um, I, I realize you have some cats here, and then inside there, there are some other cats. Yes, my babies from the U.S. You brought them down? Yes, I did. How many are they? There are three. Three. You brought three cats from the U.S.? Yes, I did. How, did it cost you a lot of oh, dollars? Oh, 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 yes. You want to know? Yeah. It cost me over $3,000 to bring my cats. $3,000? More than 3000 I just don't know the exact number. <laughs> I don't remember the exact number. But why, 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 why would you want to do that? Because I love my cats. How long have you been with them? Mm, they're two years, so yes. I've so back then in America, you had them? Yes, I did. So you had to pay to get them here? Yes. People were trying to convince me, Amina, no, don't pay that money. Leave the cats here. No, those are my cats. Why would I leave them here? Because in Ghana, cats shouldn't cost you 3000 We could have gotten some for you. No, Amina. These, these are not the same. Foreign breed. Yeah, no, well, these are my cats. <laughs> <laughs> yes, but we can, we can buy some for you, yes. which shouldn't cost us more than 100 cities. No, these are my cats. <laughs> now, if I didn't have them, yes, I would come here and buy new cats. But these are my cats. Uh, I don't know what they eat. They eat normal food. Um, no, I don't feed them what, what I call people food. I, don't, I feed them, well... It's very difficult to care for cats here in Ghana, I realize. 
<laughs> they don't have cat, what we call cat litter because I have a box in the, house, in the bathroom for them to use the bathroom. So there should be litter in there. But you don't have litter here for cats. Um, so I have to use sand from the beach. And then you don't have cat food that I, because I, I, when I feed my cats, I feed them 100% natural food. Okay. So they don't have that type of food here for cats, so I have to feed them puppy food. Okay. Yes. And they eat it. Oh, yeah, they love it. Okay. Yes, and they're very fat, too. Okay. I mean, I thank you. You're welcome. And I really appreciate your time for uh, giving us the opportunity to um, have a word with you. But the next time I come here, mm -hmm. uh, this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick you, and then we go to buy banku okay. and catfish. Okay. Yes, so that's going to be our next interview. Okay, okay. So enjoy your stay here in Ghana. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> okay, so that was um, Amina Anum, and um, she's now a Ghanaian. Subscribe to the channel if you're on YouTube, and like the video, share, and leave a comment. Bye-bye.